Hey, welcome back to Mr. Meal's Music. I'm Anthony Meal. Let's learn how to play the car song. So before we start playing, the kiddos need to know how to sing the song. It's really important because the rhythms of the song go along with the cup passing game. So your kiddos might want to do the cups right away, but I, uh, to avoid chaos, I have them start without any cups, any six, nothing. Just the ground and their bodies. So to start, we do body percussion, and we don't actually play it on our bodies. We'll just doing it, be doing it right on the ground. So um, it'll match the rhythm of the song. So they start with... I've got a car, it's made of tin. So we talk about the T, T, ta at the end of each measure. So I've got a car, it's T, T, ta, and they pass to the right. So the rest of the song is exactly the same. Um, each measure ends with a T, T, ta, and that's when they're imagining passing the cup to the right. So here's the whole thing just with the playing on the ground. So it'd be, I've got a car, it's made of tin. Nobody knows what shape it's in. Got four wheels and a running board. It's a Ford or it's a Ford. So maybe in the next lesson I'd introduce the cups with it then. So now we do the same exact thing and I tell them to use their uh, finger drumsticks and they'll be tapping right onto the top of the cup and then they'll be passing it to the right. So it'll be going like this. I've got a car, it's made of tin. So the, the last TT, it's grab, tap, pass. Nobody knows what shape it's in. Got four wheels and a running board. It's a Ford or it's a Ford. The cup I'm using is glass, so it doesn't sound as cool as big plastic cups would with a whole classroom. So just you have to kind of imagine that. The next step is singing the final part of the song. Um, I typically have them not do it with the cup, just with their bodies. So they'd be playing on their legs and they'd be going... Honk, honk, rattle, rattle, to crash, beep, beep. Honk, honk, rattle, rattle, to crash, beep, beep. Honk, honk, rattle, rattle, to crash, beep, beep. Honk, honk. Once the kiddos can do that, then we introduce the cup, and I let them actually use um, rhythm sticks with it. So they'd be going um, something like this. Honk, honk, rattle, rattle, to crash, beep, beep. Honk, honk, rattle, rattle, to crash, beep, beep. Honk, honk, rattle, rattle, to crash, beep, beep. Honk, honk. And at the end sticks go up and if there's any extra sound something will happen. So for the whole game it'll look something like this. I have them have their sticks just in their laps. I'm just gonna have it under my arm for right now. Um, so they'll be ready to grab for the second part of the song. So it'll go something like this. I've got a car it's made of tin. Nobody knows what shape it's in. Got four wheels and a running Ford. It's a Ford or it's a Ford. And after this I'll count out loud four beats and I'll go one two, three. And for those four beats, the kiddos have four beats to get the rhythm six ready. Honk, honk, rattle, rattle, two, crash, beep, beep. Honk, honk, rattle, rattle, two, crash, beep, beep. Honk, honk, rattle, rattle, two, crash, beep, beep. Honk, honk. So that's how I play the beginning version of the car song with the cup passing game. Um, if you want to uh, add a little more to it and challenge your students, be sure to check out the teacher tips and tricks for the car song. Um, there are some fun things to help spice up the game. Take care, be sure to subscribe and share. Bye-bye. I've got a car, it's made of tin. Nobody knows what shape it's in. Got four wheels and a running board. It's a four-door.